OK, but first, to a truly historic event happening right now. Pope Benedict XVI's time at the top of the Catholic Church is coming to an end as he officially retires. And just moments ago, he left the Vatican in a helicopter and will cease being Pope at 7 p.m. tonight. It's a massive moment for more than one billion Catholics across the world, but also an incredibly unusual one. No one's given up the job of Pope for 600 years. Nell's been looking at what's next for the Pope and for the church he leaves behind. To Catholics across the world, this man is God's representative on earth until around 7 p.m. tonight. Pope Benedict XVI is saying goodbye to one of the world's oldest and most influential roles. As head of the Catholic Church, he's been in charge of the world's largest group of Christians, making decisions that affect more than a billion people. But if you're the first Pope to retire in nearly 600 years, how do you go about doing it? Pope Benedict XVI will move house, change his name and even his wardrobe. He'll be known as Pope Emeritus and will swap the Pope's elaborate outfit and red shoes, which all have symbolic meanings for plain white robes and plain brown shoes. The special golden ring he's worn as Pope will be destroyed. He'll still spend his time praying for the church, but he'll no longer be allowed to tweet from his official pontifex account. Pope Benedict has said he faced choppy waters during his eight years in the job. It's because the Catholic Church has faced many big challenges, including accusations of some priests mistreating people and bitter arguments between Vatican officials being revealed in secret documents leaked to newspapers. The BBC's Alan Little is in the Vatican as the Pope prepares to step down. The church is really growing dramatically in the developing world, in Asia and Africa and South America. But the men who will pick the next pope are still mostly Europeans. So the new pope is going to have to try to close the gap between the church leaders in there and the church around the world. So as Catholics around the world say farewell to Pope Benedict XVI, they're also getting ready to welcome a new leader who'll have a lot of work to do.